Thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, we're so glad to be back at Famous Days again this year. Uh, this is Fridley High School Jazz Ensemble 2. Uh, the first song featured Andrew Wagner on alto saxophone and Alex Bone on, thank you, on trombone. They know me so well. Uh, the tune is Birdland, uh, as performed by Weather Report. Um, the next tune we're going to do is a, just a fun blues. It's going to feature several soloists, uh, including uh, Katie back on the keyboards, Lucy, Andrew, and... Harrison Blum on uh, Backburner. We hope you enjoy.
So Jazz 2 has, has just one more for you tonight, um, which is just another popular kind of funk tune from the maybe 70s or 80s. This is Herbie Hancock's Chameleon. Uh, it's going to feature Alex Bone on bass trombone um, and also soloing on that. And if you're in Fridley High School Jazz 1, this would be a good time to get ready for your set. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back in just a couple minutes with Jazz One.
so that was Vine Street Rumble, um, which featured uh, Alex Herlovsky on the tenor saxophone. And yeah, absolutely. And then it featured Maureen Zeleny on piano. The, the piano solo that Maureen played was actually originally played by Count Basie. So instead of Count Basie, we, we have Count Zeleny. Um, so there you go. Uh, this next tune we're going to have, we kind of need your help. Um, I know that you thought you were just here for dinner and spectator sports. Um, but we need you to sing. I love that you're laughing and you think that I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to bring up our, our vocalist for the jazz band, um, a very talented young lady who I, I asked her, I said, Abby, I was wondering if you could sing. And she said, I'm not going to be the only one. So I volunteered all of you because you don't want to hear me sing. Um, if you don't know the tune or you don't think you know the tune, you probably do and you will really soon. And she'll help you through it. This is, uh, as performed by the great Cab Calloway, this is Minnie the Moocher.
I told you you didn't want to hear me sing. Uh, give it up one more time for Abby Walker, huh? Yeah. While we're, while we're passing around the applause, uh, the one I did not mention, back on the trumpet with a plunger, uh, Luca Vescio. So we're going to take a moment here and we're going to feature our trombone section. <laughs> Apparently we have some fans of the trombone section. Um, the next piece is actually a, a really old school march for wind band. It, it's uh, kind of in the style of a John Philip Sousa march. Um, and I am probably going to get this wrong when I say Carl King because I don't think it's Carl King. Um, and of course, when I say Carl King, you all know I'm really talking about Henry Fillmore. It's a Henry Fillmore march, uh, originally written for a band called Lassus Trombone, and it's been moved from the band setting to the jazz band setting. Uh, my apologies to the tables up front here. I promise um, they're fairly nice. Uh, enjoy our trombone section and Lassus Trombone.
only solos that we didn't acknowledge in that was the one that may have worked the hardest through that entire tune. Give it up one more time for our drummer, Olivia Fredrickson. <laughs> So we've got two more pieces for you tonight, and the next one is um, kind of a unique opportunity for us. Uh, the next tune is one that is, is not actually published and, and was arranged um, specifically for this group. So technically speaking, it's kind of a world premiere tonight. Um, yeah, no pressure. Uh, and it's, it's a tune that uh, was brought together by several different musical artists. Uh, Mark Ronson, the, the mind behind Uptown Funk, um, Erica Badu and a guy named Trombone Shorty, who several of our musicians know and love. Um, yeah. It's going to feature Abby Walker one more time on vocals. So if you would please welcome back Abby Walker to the microphone. Oh, yeah.
should have prefaced that a little bit to tell you that uh, the tune itself is, is about, uh, it's, it's written through the perspective of somebody reminiscing about times back growing up in New Orleans where their mother would make gumbo. So I didn't tell you that, which about halfway through the tune, if you were listening carefully, you heard Abby and the rest of the band start shouting things like, your mama don't wear no drawers. Um, that was about the time I realized, probably should have set that tune up for you. Uh, Give it up one last time for Abby Walker. So we have one last tune for you tonight, uh, and it's going to feature several soloists, including, we've got Paul Baker, we've got Jenny Olala. Do I have any other volunteers? i got an Alex Zerlowski. We'll go with that. Awesome. Uh, this has uh, been become really a quick favorite of the band um, and anyone out there eating the hottest barbecue sauce that they have here at Famous Dave's. Uh, this tune is called Night of the Living Chili Pepper. Before we play it, I just want to say a big thanks to Famous Dave's uh, for having us here again. Um, you know, the old cliche, tip your wait staff and be good to them and so on and so forth. So thanks to Famous Dave's. For those familiar with Fridley High School, the reason that we're here, if anyone knows Dan Wold, who's sitting back here, Dan's in charge of our auditorium. Uh, I went to him years ago and I said, hey Dan, how about we bring a bunch of ribs into the auditorium? And he said, no. <laughs> so we're here. Um, so thanks to that. Thank you all for being here. Thanks to the students for all the early morning practices, the evening practices, um, the fact that this is the middle of their finals week. Um, so big, big round of applause just for the students in general. All right, enough talk. Here's our last tune, Night of the Living Chili Pepper.